you guys know I'm obsessed with health, fitness, my can you guys hear me? I hope you guys can hear me. Um, I am obsessed with health, fitness, mindfulness, and just helping people get back on track, whether it's um, some major issues that they have to overcome, or if it's small things, but they just need to figure out how to get discipline in their life. I obviously love talking about that kind of stuff. I talk about more of this kind of stuff over on my TikTok, and my, um, my TikTok, Snapchat, and YouTube, for some reason I don't really talk about it. I don't get on live here, I don't know why. Um, I think just the platform, the way it's set up, I feel like TikTok is like, it's just more beneficial for me to talk about this stuff online. Anyways, so I wanted to pop on here really quickly and go over what I do to stay, um, to stay fit, like fit, healthy, um, vibrant, um, having vitality, staying youthful, um, I just had a birthday yesterday and I ate everything. Like I literally ate every single thing you could think of. <laughs> Pasta, I had all the appetizers, I had three different desserts, I went hard, okay? Um, so, okay, let me back up. So about seven years ago, I gained like 25 to 30 pounds. And there was various reasons why that happened, but um, if you knew me back then, you'd probably look at me and say, oh, well, it never really looked like you gained that much weight. So at the time, so I'm 5'7", and at the time, I I was one, like 129, 130, and um, so when I gained 25 to 30 pounds, I was like below 160. So for my height being 5'7", it did it like, it kind of like distributed all over me pretty proportionately. Um, and it just didn't look, I just like was thicker. I had thicker thighs, I had th like a bigger butt, I had like thicker arms. I was just kind of like, had like a few layers on top of me, but it never really just like gained in one section, right? It was kind of like bigger overall. So it didn't look bad, but for me, I was like, hey, wait, something is just off, right? So um, I was able to lose 25 to 30 pounds and keep it off. I never yo-yoed, I never gained it back, had it like, do what I had to do to like keep it off, gain it back, keep it off. I just gained the 25 to 30 and then I kept it off, right? So I wanted to just pop on here in the moment while I'm letting my my uh, energy drink hit me. I've been drinking this for the last couple minutes and um, I like to drink it before I work out so that way it's actually hitting me while I'm working out. But um, definitely ch um, check this out. If you click the link in my bio, um, get 20 or you get I think it's like 10 to 15 percent off if you use my name at checkout so it's Sianna Singh is my username um, my, my uh, Instagram name you, uh, put that in at checkout you'll get a discount off it's really really good um, it's tasty there's alphanine in it for alertness and focus there is um, adaptogens in it for stress to reduce stress and then there's vitamin B12 to boost your stamina in a natural way there's a lot of natural ingredients in this as well um, I don't use I don't have to use energy drinks. Um, I actually only, it'll take me a week to just drink one, actually. So um, so this is like basically at like the end. And I just like wrap it up, I like have the plastic, I wrap it up and put it back in the fridge. So anyways, um, I wanted to get on here and just like give you guys an in the moment thing of what I do. So yesterday, this is what I ate. Let me just like go ahead and show you guys. So, this is what I ate yesterday. Actually, it's on my page. If you like it, I mean, if you're, you're in the live right now. But um, if you click out, you'll see what I posted. So, this is what I ate yesterday. Okay, so I had all of that. And the thing is, if you don't want to gain the weight back, what you have to do is not continue to eat like that. So what happens is, you know, it was my birthday yesterday. So most people are like, oh, well, whatever, it's my birthday, I'm just gonna like go hard all weekend. I'm gonna eat what I want, I'm gonna drink everything up, I'm gonna do whatever I want, right? But that's not what I, that's not what I did to lose the 25 to 30 pounds and keep it off. So this is also like, like all the, that's all the desserts that I had yesterday. <laughs> so fire. So long. So, thank you. 
so yeah, so I had all of that. So I just want to go on, get on here and give you guys a couple of tips that I did, that I continue to do. I've done for the last seven years, okay, to keep off the 25 to 30 pounds that I gained um, in order to maintain. And now I have such a, um, like a strong discipline muscle that for me, it's like I do it with ease and flow. Um, and if you could just do it for what I'm about to tell you for the next five to eight weeks, it will just become like second nature. You will have muscle memory doing this, what I'm about to tell you. So because I ate like this yesterday, okay, I'm not going to continue to eat like that for the rest of the weekend. Like that was my, I don't even want to say cheat day. It was like a day of pleasure. So I look at things as a pump in the way of nourishment and pleasure. Nourishment, pleasure, nourishment, pleasure. So yesterday, I mean, yeah, I guess there technically might have been some nourishment. I don't think there was anything nourishing about what I ate yesterday. I mean, I guess it was just fuel for my body for my workout. That's pretty much it. But um, so yesterday was just all pleasure. I just like enjoyed the pasta. I didn't feel bad about it. I didn't have like half of it. I ate the whole thing. Um, I ate it slowly, you know, to like really enjoy, but I just stuff it down my face. But ate the whole thing. Um, I had my my desserts. Enjoyed the whole, all three of the desserts that I had. Um, I had all the appetizers. Ate all the appetizers. So, what I used to do in the past, like what I was doing when I gained at 25 to 30 pounds, I would just if I ate bad, if I ate only for for pleasure, I would then just eat like that for the rest of the week, and just be like, well, forget it. I just already messed up. So I'm just gonna continue to eat like that for the rest of the week. I don't do that anymore. So I haven't done that for six to seven years. So I now have this discipline muscle to tell myself, okay, I had all that food yesterday, but I used to also do that, which is very unhealthy. I would like, I went through a phase where I would like eat really bad and then I'd be like, oh my God, I ate bad. So then I just like barely would eat anything for the rest of the week or the rest of the month. That's not good either, right? So today I just woke up First thing I did was intermittent fasting. So I did an extra long fast because I ate really heavy yesterday. So I didn't eat until 1 p.m. today. Okay, so um, all morning I just had some um, really, really hot water with lemon in it and then I just kept kind of drinking that throughout the rest of the morning. So you wanna start out with like intermittent fasting. If you eat heavy like that, you gotta give your body a chance. Most, I mean, I'm not telling you what you should do, I'm just telling you what works for me. You gotta give your body a chance to like process the food, right? Especially if you're not used to eating like that. So I had a really, really long fast. And then number two, um, I broke it. I broke my fast with um, a really, really hearty um, like protein, protein meal. So it was just like a really big parfait. And it was yogurt. I had my protein powder in there. I had my dark chocolate for omega threes. I had cinnamon in there um, to keep your blood sugar low. I had um, some raw honey to keep inflammation down. So I had just like a jam packed thing of um, just like a jam packed like tasty yogurt parfait meal, right? Um, and then I'm at the gym now. I'm gonna get it in, and then I'm gonna have another healthy protein type of like based. What I'm gonna do is um, is have like a big bowl. And it'll be like beans, avocado, probably some um, some kind of like red potato in there. Um, maybe some arugula. I'll put some olive oil, salt, pepper, and just like make it to, to my liking, make it to taste. And then it'll be like a really big bowl of that. So that's what I want to make. That's like two things that, and then I'm at the gym, right? So like I ate like that yesterday, and then today I'm at the gym. I didn't just say forget it, I'm just gonna, wait till Monday, right? I just like continued on with like my rituals. Like, and that's what I wanna to say too before I get off really quick, is that you wanna create rituals for yourself. Like you don't wanna just say, oh, this is my routine, or this is just like, um, oh, I have to work out, but I kinda of don't want to. It's like, when you create a ritual, it just becomes a part of who you are, right? Like it's a part of your essence. So it actually would feel weird to me if I didn't do the intermittent fast this morning. If I if I did go if I just continue to eat pasta every single day for the next five days straight, I would feel crazy, right? But I've done that in the past. But now because um, my ritual is okay. If I eat like that, if I eat for just pleasure, the next day I'm just going to eat for nourishment, which is 
as um, close to whole foods as I possibly can. So fruits, um, vegetables, um, whole grains, not, I mean, you kind of want to stay away from whole grains too, but that's another story, but whole grains um, and nuts and healthy fats. Um, and then of course showing up to the gym, um, getting it in at least 15 to 20 minutes. I don't care who you are, you have to, if you, if you are on live with me, you could be doing some kind of workout, even watching me on live right now. Right, so everybody has at least at least 20 minutes to, to be able to move their body. Um, and then there's a bunch of other things that I do. So if you guys are interested in what else I do, definitely click the link in my bio. Um, I have, if you click the link, so obviously this is, you guys are on the you guys are on my on it right now but if you click the link tree um all these different links pop up you click the link tree and as how cute is that i have confetti for my birthday <laughs> so if you click the second one the second link right here you'll go to the service is kind of weird in here it'll take you to my ebook and right now it's um Right now it's on sale. I put it on sale for my birthday. So definitely make sure that you guys get it while it's on sale. Um, it has, so the, the three different tactics that I use are in the book and I have like 20 additional tactics that I do. But those three alone that I just disclosed to you guys are more than enough to help you get back on track, right? So um, again, if you wanna dive deeper, if you need like more of a step-by-step -step process, if you need something just like to help you get into the ease and flow of being able to transform your body and then maintain it once you transform it, definitely tap in with my ebook. Um, so yeah, I just want to hop on really quick while I was in the moment. A lot of you guys like look at me up or say comments or ask me to DM like, oh, what do you do um, to kind of like maintain? Well, that's what I, that's what I do. That's like part of a couple of the steps that I do. Um, and it's not easy. Uh oh, oh, I thought I was about to watch it with this accident. So it's not easy to like lose 25, 30 pounds. Like I was talking to somebody else on live on TikTok and they lost like 60 pounds. And then they're like, oh, I lost 60 pounds, but I'm gaining back. I've already gained back 15. And I'm like, that's like, that sucks. Like, you know, like it, it's like you put in all that work to, to lose the 60 pounds and then you go back and just, and, and you're starting to gain it. So it's like, you have to start to create some kind of ritual for yourself. Um, and a lot of the stuff that I do, it's so ritualistic that I don't even think about, like, I'm not like, oh, I have to do this, I have to do that. It's like, it's almost just like brushing my teeth. Like, it's just a part of who I am. So, um, so yeah, just want to get on here and, um, like, this so that I know a lot of you guys have popped off. But, yeah. So, any questions before I, um, before I hop off and get my workout in? So take those gems that I just dropped. Hopefully you, you were here long enough to um, to catch those. But yes. 